Hello gems, welcome back to another video. So lately you guys have been asking me about the different books, resources and YouTube courses that you can use for BitSat 2023 and in this video I'll be addressing just that. So I'll be telling you about the different books that you can use for different sections. I'll be also telling you about some YouTube channels that you can look up to for guidance for BitSat 2023. I'll be also telling you about some paid courses which are relevant for BitSat 2023 and I'll be also telling you about some free alternatives. So all of that in this video. Without further ado, let's begin. So let's discuss this in detail. I'll recommend that each of you should grab a book and a pen by this point so that you can note down the important points. So let's begin with syllables completion. By that I mean covering up the theory and the concepts of a subject very thoroughly. Now you might not have a lot of time available for that. So your best bet is to go through one shot videos. Now for physics, uh, we'll be starting with one shot series uh, in the next month, March. So stay tuned. For chemistry, however, I don't know any such channel, but for chemistry specifically, you can rely on these two things. Okay. For maths, uh, you, if you want to proceed uh, through the idea of one shots, if you want to complete your syllables through one shots, uh, I'll recommend the channel Mathematically Inclined Neha Agarwal, okay? although the channel is J oriented, uh, her, uh, her one shot videos are pretty much bit set relevant and you'll also find a lot of questions uh, discussed every day to live sessions and all. So yeah, the channel is pretty much, uh, you can use it for bit set. Okay? So uh, however, if you're not impressed by the idea of uh, studying on YouTube, uh, I'll recommend some books for you. So on the physics side, we have Understanding Physics by DC Pandey. You can use this book. Five such volumes will be there. So the theory is perfect for bit set. You can refer this book for learning theory from a particular chapter. And you can also use it for questions. You can practice level one questions from this book. Okay, Don't go for level two and other subjective type of questions. Those are not in the pattern of bit set. Those are for J advanced and mates. Okay, So use it for theory and level one type of questions. You can also use HC Verma. I will not recommend that you should study a theory from this book. Uh, just use it for solved uh, questions. Okay, And one shot of uh, option is of course available to you. For, uh, and, uh, for chemistry, I would say rely on your NCRT. Uh, the previous few years, uh, the paper was purely NCRT based, especially on the inorganic side. You don't have to go and look out for reference book. You can rely on your NCRT. For physical and organic side, you can however look up to some reference book just to be on the safer side. Uh, and uh, practice a lot of questions, especially from the coaching modules. Okay, you can uh, take JE previous year questions, but that will be a slightly uh, a, a little bit high level. Okay, so you can use uh, coaching modules level one type of questions. So if you don't go to coaching, ask your friends for coaching models and try solving level one question. Okay, you can also use NCRT example. Uh, and for maths, uh, if you are not impressed by the idea of one shots, you can use uh, Adi Sharma. It's a very good book for BitSat. Uh, you can use it for theory. You can learn the entire theory of a particular chapter from that book. And you'll also find a uh, sufficient amount of questions uh, from that uh, from the particular topic okay so it will give you the perfect theory and it will also give you a uh, sufficient amount of questions okay so that's about uh, syllables completion that is how you can complete your syllables through one shot or maybe through this uh, books okay now let's come to revision the revision side, you can use the BitSat Arihan guide. This is the best book for BitSat. This includes chapter wise questions on all the topics from physics, chemistry, maths, okay, and also on logical reasoning and English, okay. And this, I would say, is the best book for BitSat. It is going to help you a lot, okay. So it has a lot of questions. It also has theory, but the theory is not that important. Uh, I would uh, suggest that you just refer it for the sake of questions. Okay? The questions are very much bit set uh, relevant and you also have some previous year questions uh, being asked at the end of each chapter. Okay, And the second book that I would recommend is the bit set uh, Disha publication book which is 16 years chapter wise solved papers. So chap here in this book you have uh, 16 years of papers uh, which are solved chapter by okay chapter by chapter different questions over the 16 years okay and you also have logical reasoning and English in these two books okay and uh, you can uh, use it 
for uh, learning or understanding what type of questions are asked from logical reasoning and English. Okay. Uh, now this uh, two books you'll have to buy them. I'll put the links in the description box uh, description box of this video. Okay. Uh, so if you don't want to buy such books, okay, if you don't want to spend money on uh, Bitsat, already you are paying such a hefty fee for exam fee. Uh, I will suggest you some uh, free uh, alternatives, okay. But again, their re reliability is a bit shaky. First is the NTSC papers, okay. NTSC papers uh, a little out of pattern of Bitsat, okay. But uh, you can refer it, okay. First of all. Uh, see uh, what type of questions are asked in Bitset in logical reasoning and English. For that, you can uh, refer the videos on this channel. We have done question banks for logical reasoning and English. The questions are limited uh, on this channel, so uh, but you'll get a brief idea what type of questions are being asked, and those type of questions uh, you can select from the NTSC previous year papers. Okay, just Google this NTSC previous year papers. You'll get the logical reasoning uh, side, and you just have to select those questions which are bit side relevant okay now there will be also uh, a lot of courses uh, on youtube about logical reasoning and english or maybe bit side uh, crash courses which will be floating around uh, two months prior to the exam and i'll also uh, uh, pass my judgments on them okay so as of now we have a course on logical reasoning and english from 10q channel uh, 10q challenge channel okay so uh, you can go to their channel. I think it's a uh, very re relevant for Bitsat. Again, no promotions here. I'm just talking facts, okay? And um, based on the feedback that I'm receiving, okay? So uh, you can opt for this uh, their course. It's a paid course, okay? So you can uh, look forward, do your own research, and I believe it's uh, relevant for Bitsat. Okay. However, there will be more com uh, courses which will be coming in the uh, two months prior to the exam. So I'll also Tell you about those courses as and when the time comes okay also there is a lot of free content on the logical reasoning and english side and also uh, on the revision side for physics especially uh, on this channel okay uh, so we'll have question banks for logical reasoning and english uh, as i said the content is limited but you'll get a brief idea of what type of questions are raised okay we also have one shots for logical reasoning and english available on this channel so you can look out for yourself okay and we also have uh, if you want specifically for revision if you want the previous year questions we have solved chapter wise previous year questions in the a series i'll put the uh, links of that playlist in the description we also have mock test series you can refer to that okay so enough of promotion of my own and finally uh, let's come to the previous year question and mock stage okay so your uh, previous year questions again you can refer these two books which are very important and as I said, a lot of previous year question and practice is available on this channel. So go explore it out. Uh, the links are available in the description, of course. And if you want to go for paid mock test, uh, we have two options, Methango and Imbibe. And also there will be some mock test series from 10Q cha uh, challenge. Okay. So uh, as of now, it's not there. So uh, here among these two, I will uh, recommend you the Methan, uh, Methango uh, one because it is pretty much bit side relevant. Your Imbibe one is slightly on the difficult side uh, and it's maybe costlier than Methango one. Okay, so I'll recommend this one and it's uh, it has worked for the previous batches of the students. Okay, so and the final note uh, I would say is to follow uh, our channel thoroughly. Okay, uh, a lot of content in the form of guidance will be coming up in the month of February. In the month of March, we'll begin with the one shot series, as I said, for physics. And uh, in the month of April and May, we'll do some mock test and some deliberate practice for Bitsat 2023. Okay. Uh, and I'll put the links of all the YouTube channels that I mentioned uh, in this video. Uh, so that's all about today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it helpful. If there are any queries, if you need any uh, video on a particular, uh, if you need guidance on a particular topic, do let me know in the comment section. That's all for today. And happy strategizing. Keep enjoying physics.